right, we are going to jump into dating disasters. I'm and liking this one today. Have, oh my gosh. <laughs> we have got a dating disaster we would all love to avoid that awkward standoff after a breakup. Well, the only logical thing that I can think of uh, is for her to move out of the condo and then to pay me some sort of a penalty as compensation for the labor that I did all around the condo. What? 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 Pay you a compensation for your labor? We fixed this place up together. Are you nuts? Two years to yeah, <laughs> it happens, guys. Our Facebook fan, Amy, is having this real life drama. <laughs> it's short and sweet. She says, my boyfriend of three years just broke things off, but our lease isn't up for another six mm. months. Moving is not an option. What now? This happens to people, especially now, yeah. especially when times are tough. You may not have the money to just up and move. Yeah, and I have to admit, I did this. You did I had, this? Yes, I did this, and for seven months. Seven I had to, months. It was a long, hard seven months. But how did you do it? Like, did you guys come to some kind of agreement? I mean, do you ignore each other? This you is know rough. what? It did. It got to the place where, I mean, I felt that I was amicable, but it wasn't the same on the other sure. side. But yeah, moved into the other bedroom and, you know, had to set up very healthy boundaries. Wow. The dating thing, it was like, you know, we didn't bring people into the home. Well, that's good. At least yeah. you set those standards. Set those boundaries. And those actually do fall in line with some of yeah. the advice that we found. So here are some tips to consider, Amy, as you navigate the next six months. The first one, discuss chores and housekeeping. So before the breakup, you were probably more likely to pick up each other's slack. Now, you need to lay out who's yeah, doing what. True. I'm not going to wash your dishes. Right. Heck no. Number two, you did this. Set private areas. Rearrange your home so each of you has your own bedroom. And if possible, try separate bathrooms as well. Yeah, that's absolutely. awkward, right? You're no brushing mm -hmm. your teeth all the others in the shower anymore. Nope. Number three, discuss finances. The entire bill situation is going to change after breaking up. Before it becomes an issue, discuss who is paying which bills. This part's really important. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, set dating boundaries. Talk about dating up front. If it's not something you're comfortable with, ask your ex to give you a heads up. You can make plans to be elsewhere and vice versa, but you've got to talk about it no matter how awkward it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Got to talk about it.